What's up everybody? Today it's all about quick, easy, fast. I'm hungry, it's breakfast time, so we're gonna throw together one of my favorites. Stick around and I'll show you how. So here's the two simple ingredients. We got good old corned beef, not corned beef hash because it has potatoes in it. And if you look here on the back, you can see that it's zero carbs and we'll go in the kitchen and whip this stuff up right quick. So I got to thinking, something you might not have seen before, especially if you're younger, is this thing comes with a tab here and a key. Now this is simple, don't let it confuse you too much, but all you do is there's a little slot on this key, you stick that in there and start twisting pop and of course you just twist it off. That's kind of an old school thing. Um, you used to see it on more things, maybe like canned ham and some things like that. Uh, but yet yeah, you just twist it until you got it open. And that way you can use this out in like camping or whatever. You don't have a can opener or something. It's got its own built-in can opener. So when you get to the end, you just flip the top like this. Now we're gonna throw it in the pan. All right, I'll just let I just let it cook down until it starts getting brown, and then I'll add my eggs to this. This recipe is so simple; it's easy. You open a can and throw it in the pan. But for me, this recipe's got pretty cool uh, memories attached to it. Uh, used to go camping with my grandparents, and um, we cooked this up in the old RV this and some bulk sausage and uh, my grandma she just threw the eggs in with it and then I've never been the kind of person that wigged out over my food touching so if you're that person you can cook your eggs on the side and have them but for me I just like mixing it all together it's sort of like spamming eggs it's good so we'll add our eggs now and then enjoy this and another thing is this is so fast it's done in about 15 minutes all together so you can be eating your breakfast right off the bat so I've added my eggs. I had to cut away because I don't have my tripod today. But and basically all I'm doing is just gonna mix this up, keep it cooking until it. I know that looks weird, don't it? But it's good. And I'll probably add some cheese when I'm done. But all right, let's finish it off. So here's the finished product. It is time to eat breakfast. Now I topped it with a little cheese. And this and a little bit of mustard as well. I like mustard on mine. And if you can get your hands on some of this jalapeno mustard here. Man, that stuff's so good. I enjoy it a lot. It's kind of hard to find, but it's, uh, you can go to the website and see if it's available near you, but I, it really kicks it up a notch. But yep, this is Grandma Hazel's recipe, basically. And every time I eat it, I kind of think about her. So until next time, y'all be blessed and have a great meal.